is not where you live, it's how you live. The photo, the photo project, it was a brilliant idea. You understand? Because most of the kids, them, at the first, they never take it serious. Because them just come out of a, a, a traumatic experience. So, them, them mind they wish for that day. So, go take up camera and go take picture. Them call that full image. Come like I never made that miss when I take them picture, they had a gunshot to me. Come like a dream in a dream. But the project and a whole, Reflect on them life, a whole heap. Because the if you ever look on the picture of them, all of them smiling, nobody not sad. Them happy about it. Hi, I'm Dr. Tamika Haynes Robinson, and I'm a clinical psychologist. I'm responsible for the clinical direction of mental health care at Inscape Foundation. Inscape Foundation aims to provide mental health care services in inner city communities for the residents there, free of cost. Our aim is to work with children, adolescents and adults who need mental health care such as psychotherapy, art therapy, drama therapy, dance and music therapy. My name is Rosie Chung and I'm an art therapist. I've been working in the inner city for the last 10 years. It is a practice used to help to open and get people who are stressed in trauma situations, in violent domestic situations, to express themselves through the art medium. The creation of Inkscape really is a gift that, that has happened to us all, coming out of the most disastrous of situations in Tivoli. And what we're now looking at doing is creating a model that we can take into the rest of the country, any community that needs the kind of therapy to be able to move forward with their lives, we're looking to be able to try and provide that free of cost. The vision for Inkscape is not only to use art therapy as an intervention, but also to bring on professional clinical psychologists to work with our youths in the inner city all over Jamaica. Why? Um, in, the in these inner city communities, we are experiencing high levels of trauma in post-traumatic stress disorders as well as depression and anxiety disorders among the residents who live in these communities because they are subject to random acts of violence, um, whether it is interpersonal or whether it is large gangs of people coming into their communities and disrupting um, how they operate. And this is happening on a continuous basis, so we found a need and we were actually asked by the members of these inner city communities to provide some form of mental health care for them. They were willing and we find that they are responding quite well to what we've been able to do so far. One of the most frequent questions that folks ask after they've gotten to know a little bit more about what we're doing at Inkscape is how they can help, how you can help. Head on over to our website www.inscapefoundation.com and there are different ways that you can enact and empower yourselves in the journey that we're on. The vision for Inkscape is not only to use art therapy as an intervention, but also to bring on professional clinical psychologists to work with our youths in the inner city all over Jamaica. We're first piloting this model of mental health care in the inner city community in Kingston. However, our overall aim is to place this kind of access to mental health care across the island in other communities in Jamaica. Another question we get frequently asked is how effective is a program like this? Well, rather than me trying to tell you, I'd rather show you. The camera has changed a lot of lot of bad feelings for us because I didn't know how to use a camera at first. So the project has taught us very good things about us. People show them more respect because they say they must try for good. It was really, really positive because some of the youth them that had been detained, because most of them, all of them got detained. Them changed. Now some of them that smoke, them stop. The reason why I took most of these pictures to show other people that good things can come out of us that live in Tivoli Garden. I saw Tivoli stay, nobody not trouble nobody. 
everybody live in peace and unity naturally. So all the negative thoughts, brother and sister, we just stop it. Because it's not going to work. Everyone away are brother and sister. And you can't think about your brother and sister not because somebody tells you something. You have to do it for yourself and experience it because we they in the, in the rubble and we, and we witness it and we see everything and we know everything. Tivoli Garden is a wonderful place. That's why Miss Rosie Chong and Max, who is two gentle person, taught us well how to capitalize on the camera the information on the camera and behalf of what they were told in us that I, Kevin Taylor, Kimo Jadim, Devon Griffith and Corey Tavares can achieve anything that they want to pursue in life. If you want to achieve something good in life, you have to show respect Give manners if it is given, love and satisfaction to everyone. After one month before, the most in a dramatic experience, you understand? And now them smiling the next month. Must be something good. You know, a wise man once said, when a need has been established and determined, don't ask what you can do to help, just show up. I really hope that you show up too.